Shalom Israel. First and foremost, I would love to give all praises and glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Rakatha Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Raka Kodash. I would love to give double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone who rule impeccably well. Salutations to our sincere brothers pushing this truth week in and week out on the highways and the byways. Shalom to our sincere brothers and sisters fearing and waiting, waiting on our power to return. I'm going to name this. It is surely happening. It is surely happening, but we have to wait. All right. Remember, we messed up. We heavily messed up. So the Lord had to put us down to bring us back up again. We've been given so many chances. And we never learned. So the Moses had to put us down again. In a big way. For us to come back to him and acknowledge who he is. Repent. But it is surely happening. Because not all of us, but some of us have woken up to the truth. Right? And we know what sets us free. The truth sets us free. Not all according to our own vain opinion, interpretation. So we thank the Lord. We, we, we are grateful for what he has done to us. It hurt and it still hurts. Right? But we are thankful that the Most High has woken us up. And we are realizing now that yes, it is surely happening. Right now, it is surely happening. So what came to mind now is, because when you wake up into this truth, fully woken up, all right, you become, your mindset becomes better. Right? We're not all there. We're not fully, we're not perfect yet. But at least we have a better mindset. We know who the devil is. We know what they did to us. And we know what is to come. Like I said before, it is surely happening. So I decided to... um go to the book of Thessalonians, 2 Thessalonians 2. Um, I'm going to start from the top. And it says here, Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, he's the anointed, and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be soon, not be soon shaken in mind, or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter, as from us, 
as that the day of Yahawashai is at hand. All right. Things need to be done. There's an order. Things need to happen. You remember, this is the Most High's time, not our time. We messed up. The Most High gave us everything that was beautiful, but we messed up. So we're at the end now, but there has to be that format, if you know what I'm saying, that format, the Lord's format. We have to follow the order to know that we're in the end. But things have to happen first. And it says here, Let no man deceive you by any means, that for that day shall not come. Because we want that day to come, that end to come. By any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. And that's why we had to go into slavery. Us Israelites had to go into slavery. The man of sin was used to put us down. Right? Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first. Right? So that you see the order? The falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition. And that is Esau. When you think about Esau, he's just is of utter destruction. All right? And he put and he was used to put us down. So because that falling away, you know, we had to go through slavery. Now we are have woken up to the truth. And we are rising up now. Rising up, still acknowledging Still acknowledging our place. Still acknowledging our power. Still acknowledging, right, to follow the law, statutes, and commandments. But not all of us have has woken up. Not all of us have woken up. But the ones that have woken up to this truth, we have risen up, you see? That man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, right? And those men that who have revealed the son of perdition are the prophets. The prophets have woken us up to let us know who is the man of destruction, the man of sin, right? Um, whom opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God showing himself that he is God and that is blasphemy because what Esau did the so-called white man he put up his face as a true messiah And that is blasphemy. He used his face. His so-called white skin. 
to deceive. All right? But through the prophets, through the spirit of Yahweh Ba'ashem Ashai, we have woken up. You see, there's an order. We've been put down and the Most High has woken us up. Right? Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, huh, I'll tell you, because oh, the Most High has been with us. You, you see, like I said, you know, the Most High doesn't owe us anything. The Most High is disappointed. We owe him everything, right? That's why we have to make our bodies a living sacrifice. Yeah? And you think that's an easy thing to do? Right? Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. And now ye know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. He's been revealed now. This is the time now. Because you remember the heading of this, of this video? It is surely happening because they have been revealed. The prophets have revealed them. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who no letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall the wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. And what, who are those? The prophets. They've been revealed. They've been exposed. Yes, they've been exposed. Day by day. Look, what's, look at the information that's coming out. Listen. We went through the year of prophecy, and so much things happen. But look at the year 2021. You remember we've been exposing them. The prophets have been exposing them. And look at the year we're in now. 2021. Hastening of the day of the coming of the Lord. And they've been exposed. But you remember, there had to be a falling away first. And now that we have risen up, we are rising up now. Kwam Yasharala. Kwam Yasharala. Kwam Yasharala. We are raising up. So the Most High used his men, the prophets. Right? I read that again. And when and then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord Yahweh Shem Yashai shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, those are the prophets, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. And what is gonna, gonna be? That's the missiles, the brightness of his coming. And shall destroy with his brightness of his coming. So, Esau, you have been revealed. Right? Your nakedness have been uncovered. And we know who you are. And we know what your plans are. And through the spirit of Yahweh Ba'ashom Yahushai, we pray that we endure to the end. 
All that we have woken up to the truth. We have to remain in the truth and keep on fighting in this truth. Right? And to prove that we are fully woken up is that we're enduring. Enduring. Taking the suffering, taking the pain. And living in hope that the, when the chariots come, they deliver us. All right? So yes, like I said, it is surely happening. Okay, brothers and sisters, that's all I wanted to say. Just a quick one, you know, I wanted to talk about. I hope and pray that, you know, this is edifying and that we remain and endure to the end. Okay, Shalom.